Welcome back to Animal Crossing City Folk, day number 16. Today, hopefully, hopefully, Rover remembers me. Oh, hey, he does. Meet up every day is pretty sweet. All right, cool, awesome. Um, hopefully today we can actually get around to all the stuff that I meant to do yesterday that just didn't happen. So wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't that be great? Ooh, we might also get our uh, bonsai in the mail today. I don't know how many days that takes. I don't know if it's 24 hours or... But that's probably it. We'll just dump that out. Just kidding. We gotta water our turnip. Not a euphemism for anything. Yay! We got our bonsai back. Oh, whoops. Close that. Come down here. Open this. We're gonna go plant the coconut. We're gonna... Oh, I forgot to put the art. Oh, we forgot to put the art in there. I didn't buy the the dice thing. That's okay. I was I was on the fence about that anyway. Uh, bonsai, 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 bonsai. Yeah, it's a present. I wonder what it is. Oh, hey, it's ponderous bonsai. It's crazy. How did you know? Toss. Um. So first things first. What are the turnip? I think we're getting it. I think that looks good. I think it's very watered. I think it's very watered. Let's water some other flowers here. We gotta just go around and water all sorts of flowers everywhere, all over our town. Man, it's so hard to like line up the watering can so that it looks like it's actually going on the flowers. I don't know how much that matters, but it bugs me. That one's fine, because nobody can see. My awesome, amazing, giant floppy witch hat was blocking your view. So you'll never know. You'll never know how accurate or not my watering was. It was perfect. It was dead on first try. 360 no scope. Let's <laughs> pop back inside real quick. Super quick. I gotta figure out how long we grow that turnip for. There's gotta be like a maximum number of days. Probably just one week or something. Okay. Let's put you over here. And you. We'll scoot these up by one just so we can kind of get these other ones out of the way here. Mm, let's just do this. Let's just do this. Just do it the easy way. I love having the, the ones that are like just barely offset. Hang on. There we go. There we go. That's pretty good. The other option would be have these two guys flanking our, uh, our Quasite and our Nebuloid. That might also actually be pretty good. Hang on. Sorry. I think I do like that. This is going to be our last attempt here, and then we'll, we'll either keep this or we'll go back to what we just had. We're probably going to keep this, because I think I like this idea. Oh, the joys of trying to rearrange furniture. Okay. Almost keep them staggered like this, except that we got a bonsai. We got a plant also. If we get both of them going at the same time, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. This guy goes, he does a, he hits himself before he, he rotates. He goes, dong dong. So that's where the extra hit is coming from. Okay, let's try this again. Nope. Hang on. That's pretty good. It's 
kind of hard to sync these up, but I, I like that a little bit better. It's a little bit tighter. Okay, I'm done obsessing over the timing of my weird musical funguses. Let's put the bonsai back in here, because I really like that one. The azalea one's also pretty cool, but I really like the ponderosa bonsai. It's really neat. Um, let's put an art. Basic. Basically an art. One basic art, please. It's pretty basic, but I like it. Oh no! Those the waggle controls. I don't know how- it looks like it's facing into the wall there, I don't like that. Hmm, that's gonna have to do. And then... Just gonna plop you down. My house is a mess. Now we just have a random cello in here too? Oh jeez. There we go. That's gonna have to do. Yeah, I like it. I like the two flanking our nebulid and quasoid. I like that they're synced up, but I like that they make different sounds. I'm pretty happy with that. Pretty happy with all that. You guys, it's pretty awesome. Okay, let's go. Oh, we gotta go buy stuff from Nook and do all that. Hey, look at it. You got one of the different shirt patterns you're wearing. I wonder if anybody's wearing my art yet. Someday. Someday somebody will wear my art. Um, I think all the way over here in the corner is where we're gonna put... No. Um, it needs to be, like, here-ish, our coconut. Or probably where it dips down like this. Probably right around here. That seems pretty good. Um... Oh no, I see flowers. It must be watered. Agent S, don't worry, I will water the flowers for you. Agent S, how- what's going on inside your house? Do you have our bonsai on display? Did anybody buy any of your stuff? Like, I assume the animals rotate in and out throughout the day, but I don't actually know. Because of the flea market. Sorry, I'm gonna turn off the TV, that's annoying. Yeah, look at it, there's the bonsai. It's right there, isn't that great? King, you're just in time! That was my most favorite person ever! Yeah, I want something, was I too obvious, sidekick? Look, all I need is for someone to deliver this package. Totally fun, right? Sure. Really? Oh, thanks, that's a mega huge help, sidekick. All right, you gotta get this to Winnie, sidekick. I will do my best. I'm not in a crazy hurry or anything, but it wouldn't hurt to deliver this one by 6 p.m. Just saying. Oh, that's, we, we have like all day. What time is it? Yeah, it's not even noon yet. Yeah, we can do that. If I don't do it within the next like 20 minutes, I will forget. Because that is how, how long I'm optimistically expecting this video to go for. Ah. <laughs> Okay, coconut. Gotta, gotta find a good spot to plant coconut. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there are certain bugs and things that can, like, land on the coconut tree. So we might start getting some variety in insects, although- Ooh, money rock! Money rock, money rock, money rock! Um, it's gonna take it a couple days to grow, and I don't know how many more days of lots of bugs in the autumn I'm gonna have. I just, I don't know. I don't know. We should be fine, though. We should have plenty of time. Oh, that money. Oh, we got so much money. I'm so happy. $8,100. Oh, it's so much money. Oh, okay, yeah, and that's too many. I almost opened that. I was like, wait, why do I have a present? Did I shoot down a balloon and I forgot? No. It's because it's a present for winning. <gasps> Uh-oh. Come back here, you. Come back here. Get back here. Do not go over the ocean. Aha! Speaking of money, speaking of so much money! Oh, there's a little pond skater there too. I don't think those are worth very much. Um, I'm trying to decide if there's anywhere in particular I want to plant this coconut tree. Yeah, just like right here seems fine. Just gonna get the shovel out the easy way, the lazy way. Um, it can, it can go back a fair ways, right? Like, we have a fair old bit of space here to work with, but let's just put it, like, right here. And this should... grow over the next couple of days. We should have us a coconut. Trees don't need to be watered or anything, so we can just ignore it. If it gets all wilted and gross again, like the last one that I failed the plant, then... Oh, <gasps> hello. Then we just dig it up and don't have to 
do anything else, but I'm hoping it'll grow. Oh my gosh, speaking of so much money. What is with the orchid mantises? Man manti mantises? Man manti? Orchid mants mansum? Man mantum? Mantata? Hakuna mantata? Hakuna mantises. What is with all of the orchid mantis? And. Ooh, we got a Luigi hat? Oh man, we have to. Nope, that's not a Luigi hat. That is a shirt. I like the zipper shirt, too. That's also actually kind of neat. If I wasn't a witch, that would maybe be like a little bro's hat. <laughs> oh, I... Yeah, I need it. I have to have it. Look at the zipper shirt. That's pretty cool. No, that's the leaf umbrella. Mabel, you're bad at figuring out what I'm looking at. Yeah, the zipper shirt. That's kind of cool. I don't think we're going to buy it. What is this? A red riding hoodie. <laughs> I love the clothes on sale here today. This is fantastic. It's very good. I like it a lot. Um, I don't remember what I was saying. There was bugs. Expensive bugs. And we got them yesterday also. That's pretty sweet. That's a lot of money. Which is good because we need so much freaking money to pay off our debt. Upgrade our house again. Look at that. I dug up a fossil. Not run through the flowers. Um, fossil hunt. Did we check over here? We did now. I don't know if the dandelions actually like count as weeds. Like, is it bad if we just leave those sitting out? I don't know. Lucy, are you out here, like, watering the plants and stuff? Because you missed one. Can we be plant watering buddies? Oh, sorry, I didn't... Oh. That was a mistake. How are you doing, Lucy? Um, King, do you want a Vertigo shirt? Snork! I went a little crazy when I saw it in the store, and I forgot that I'd order one from the catalog already. So I'm looking for someone who'd be willing to pay 563 bells for my spare one. Nah, sorry. I like being a witch. Oh, really? Snoink? Is it not your sort of thing? Well, I guess I'll go ask the others. Snoink! We have so many pigs in our town. That's Bob's house. We have so many pigs, and we're gonna have one fewer squirrel, which makes me sad. Very sad to see static go. Okay. Watering some flowers. Feels pretty good. Haven't seen any other fossil diggy spots yet. Just the one. Oh, hey, Winnie. I was looking for you. Delivery! Ooh, something from old H&S. Gee, this is a nice surprise. Hey, okay. Ooh, a scale armor suit, eh? Well, I guess it's nice in a perfectly, like, adequate kind of way. Oh, well, adequate is the new awesome, right? Let's try it on. Hey, it's literal horse armor. Boy, and to think that you... Some people pay a lot of money for that in other contexts. Thanks a lot, King! And please say thanks to H&S next time you run into her. Hey, okay. Will do. Horse armor. Jeez, what a, what a thing. Are there any diggy fossil spots at all ever in the rest of this town? If you were a fossil... Where would you be hiding? Oh, look at that! I dug up a fossil! What a surprise. We found our money rock on the first try, too. That's pretty cool. 
And it was the easy one. It's my favorite. I really should just be running around shaking trees more often, too, but... Oh, it just it feels so tedious. Ugh. So what's this? <laughs> Nook is selling the moon. Huh. Also, nobody else is allowed to know about the moon. I need it. It shall be mine. Haha. -ha. Oh. Oh, game. That's not very nice, putting the stupid pitfall seed back. Hiding it, so I thought I was clever when I found it. Ugh. Okay, so we're missing a fossil. There's one out here somewhere that I must have, like, run right over the top of. That's okay. Let's see if we can buy a seedling. Do we have a cedar sapling? We do! Haha! -ha. Fantastic. Holy cow, that moon is enormous. I was secretly hoping it would have the terrifying Majora's Mask face on it, because that would have been awesome too. There's like a classical column. Yeah, I mean, flowers are nice, but... Look at that moon. Look at that moon. It's just rotating. That's so cool. Yeah, I'll take it. Holy crap! <laughs> 32,000 bells? <sighs> Sorry, Nook. And the lattice wall's not bad. The lattice wall's not bad. The stone tile would be maybe okay for like the basement or something. Our creepy mad science basement that we're gonna build. And I. Uh, Oh, we're not gonna... We're not gonna do it. Okay. Um, we're gonna- we're gonna pay off the house. We need to upgrade the house first, then we'll deal with, like, furnishings and stuff after that. We'll buy the really expensive furnishings after we've upgraded the house. Gotta upgrade the house first. Upgrade the house, upgrade the house, upgrade the house. Even if I want a giant moon, and we could have a space station orbiting the moon. Oh. But no. Nope, not yet. Not yet. <gasps> weeds! I must destroy the weeds. Ooh! Look at you! You were hiding, but I found you. We never came down here and checked out the uh, flower canyon area. That has only, like, what, two flowers in it? Three? That's right, it'll, it'll get there. Actually, you know what? It would also be really cool if they were all, like, the same color. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? That would be kind of neat. That's not even a thing that I'm trying to do on purpose. Yeah, I'm, I like that. I'm a huge fan of that. Alright, I have a new goal. We're gonna put a whole bunch of, like, white flowers in there. Nah, we need color. I gotta mix it up. As soon as I started to say that, it's like, no, we need, we need more color. We need, like, pinks and yellows and oranges and stuff. We gotta mix it up. Okay. Um, I am back at Nooks because I forgot to sell a thing or two or three. Although we probably should do the fossils first, because we might be coming back here to sell more stuff, but... Well, okay, I meant to click both of them. Both of them. <sighs> there we go. 4,000 bells for the bird wing? Holy crap. I didn't realize it was worth that much. I thought it was just like 2,500 or something. I thought it was on par with the bees. Speaking of which, bees are another good way to make money. We should be catching some bees. We'll get stung trying. Okay, let's pop in and say hello to Blathers. Show him some fossils. And we're gonna go actually visit Red. We're gonna go to Red's Emporium. Super important. Absolutely gonna do that. We did the gyroids, we planted the coconuts. We're gonna go check out... 
reds. And then probably just deposit all of our money towards our, uh, our thing, our debt. Mm, fascinating, I have you now, fossil. Aha! None can resist blathers. A plesioskull. Who? Indeed, woo, who? Oh, cool, we gotta go sell it. This feels good. I like how often we're getting fossils that we can sell. Feels like we've been able to sell like one or two a day for the past couple of days, which is pretty sweet. Amber! Ooh, we have not turned that in. That's another little uh, one and done that's gonna go up at the top of the second room. Yeah, take it. Tell me about the amber. Are we going to make our own Jurassic Park here? The sap of ancient trees that has hardened over time. Sometimes there are even insects caught within. Serves them right. <laughs> I'm with you, Blathers. It's beautiful, of course, and scientists are also quite keen on it, so it's rather expensive. These marvelous little fellows provide us with clues as to the period when the dinosaurs ruled the Earth. Sadly, dinosaurs no longer rule the Earth. They only rule our hearts. All right, last fossil. What is this? Ooh, Archaeopteryx. Cool, another one that we can go sell. Nope, we are pretty good. Awesome. Okay, let's go. Oh man, there's so much to do. We'll, when we go back to the house to rest, I'll store the sapling. Don't let me forget. Don't let me forget, YouTube. You guys gotta remind me. I'm putting this on all y'all. Okay. Two fossils to sell. I hope they're worth lots. 5,300, that's not bad. Cool, 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 cool. I will take that. 53,000. We have a lot of bells on our person. I feel uncomfortable carrying around this much money, but let's go to an expensive and rather shady art gallery. Where we're almost certainly not going to buy anything. I don't know. We could maybe like try to figure out Red's art. There is a trick to it. Crazy red. <laughs> so, Sprat, I see you've been having a grand old time playing about in the city, but know this! Sure as the tides, it comes a time when a man's gotta settle himself down. Yeah, I, I have a house. It's actually pretty nice. It's got lots of fungus in it. They make noises. Now me, I like me freedom. I be like the sea, lad. Controlled by nobody. But mark me words, Sprat. That title come for ye. And when it do, ye'll have some tough decisions. Yar. Well, now about to reach the city. Go raise yourself a ruckus. But think on me words, ye urchin. Oh, and tell the pretty ladies I said, Gar. Yeah, you, you want me to do that, like, last time or something, too? So, eh. around too much and my shoes are all dirty. Let me get our shoes shined. Maybe we can go for another shoe shine. The green kind of clashes with the rest of the witchy outfit. But, you know. Hello. Oh there, friend. Old Red doesn't recognize you. I don't think you're one of our members, right? The top priority here is trust. And that's why we're... Oh, what the hey? The kid's got an invitation. Ho ho! Seems you were referred by cousin Kit from over in Leofall. Well then. That's a whole different kettle of fish. Welcome, welcome. Let Red give you the ten penny tour. Come on in, friend. Oh, I don't like this. I don't trust this. This feels very sketchy. All right, 
right, here we go. Hoo-wee! It's a piece of luck that you happen to know one of our members, friend. And for the low, low price of just 3,000 bells, you can become a member of the Crazy Reds family. Come on, friend. Don't be a sap. Join up. <sighs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's why we're here. We only have to pay this once to get in, but... Yeah. Haha, -ha, excellent! Well then, you, King, are now an official member of the Crazy Reds family. You know our motto, right? Good stuff. Crazy prices! Prices are certainly crazy, not in the way that I think you intended. Now you're a member of the family, Red's gonna call you a cousin. Welcome aboard, cuz. Now you can take full advantage of our members only collection. You can't believe deals like these. I don't think we're gonna buy anything today. We're almost certainly not. Ooh, is this, is this just Red's bed? What is this? Aha, oh, I just love it when one of my cousins has such a keen eye for quality. That blue bed is a special one indeed. In fact, you might say that it's crazy. I thought he only sold art. I'm actually a little, little weirded out by the fact that he has other things. That's weird. That's weird. Hmm. I had a whole busload of artisans in here the other day just begging me for a crack at that one. But I told him no, this one's for cousin. Now, I know that 4,000 turn bells seems steep, but it's a steal. No. What in the heck? Listen, cousin, would you rather regret buying it than regret not regretting it? Y yes? No? Hmm. Um, this is more what I'm after. And the art is super expensive. If we buy it and it happens to be real, then we can take it back and store it in the museum. If we buy it into forgery, it's just a waste of money. We can't, it's not, there's no point to having it. And uh, we don't know if it's a forgery or not until we take it, until we buy it and take it back into town. Uh, obligatory, well, in Animal Crossing New Leaf, the superior Animal Crossing game, but in New Leaf, the, the, these are based on like actual works of art and you can tell if you know what the art looks like you can you can tell if it's a forgery or not because the forgery physically looks different when you're looking at it here before you buy it which i think is a neat little thing it's so like the statue of david he's got like a different hand up or something uh yeah stuff like that which is really cool here i don't think there's any way to tell oh i'm so glad someone with an artist i finally stepped into me humble shop i fell in love with that flowery painting the first time i laid eyes on her I had to beg and plead with the previous owner to sell. Yeah, Red is just full hot air, by the way. He's kind of, he's like Blathers, but worse. <laughs> it, you can trust Blathers. You can't really trust Red. I had to beg and plead with the previous owner to sell. Old Red was on his paws and knees for that one. Now, if I had my druthers, I love that saying, I'd like to keep it around forever. But if my number one best cousin wants it, then I guess I can part with it for a mere 3,920 bells. It doesn't seem like it's real. We'll buy it. Let's just show this whole mess off. We're probably not going to do too much art buying until, like, we've paid off the house a fair bit and have some extra cash to spend. But we'll, we'll do one for now. Ha 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 Cousin, cousin, you will not be sorry with this one, and that's a crazy red guarantee. Please take a look at, take a look around. That old red know if anything else strikes your fancy. An anatomical model. Blood vessels. A clear model right here. This is the first in the series of Crazy Red's originals, available here only and today only. I'm going to part with for the crazy price of 6,720 bells. Act now. Don't delay. New. No. What in the heck? <sighs> I, I, wouldn't you rather regret buying it than regret not regretting it? No, I already regret even coming in here. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Listen here, you wouldn't have to know anyone interested in joining our family. This is the whole uh, social co-op. You can get an invitation and send it out to other people. We're cousins, King. And a friend of yours is a friend of Red's. You can even mail that thing in a letter. Old Red won't mind a bit. Yeah, so we can, we can, we now have an invitation. We can go mail it to somebody else. That's pretty cool. We probably have a forged painting on our hands. Or in my pockets. Forged painting in your pocket, or are you just happy to see me? We're gonna pay off the mortgage a little bit here. 
Um. Five. Zero. 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 Didn't mean to that many. Four. Five. Zero. 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 We'll say fifteen hundred bells. Hold on over a rainy day. Man, two hundred forty-eight thousand. That's that is kind of a lot. Two two hundred thousand is also still quite a lot. We just paid off quite a bit, but oh, I want to get my shoes shined. Yeah, sorry. All right, there, young sir. Fancy a shoe shine? Five hundred bells, and you'll see your reflection in them. Please do. All right, one first class shine coming right up. Just tell me you want your shoes. I can match them by color. I can match them to the style you're going for. What will it be? Go by color. All right, you got it. One set of shoes in your color. Coming up. Here we go. Just a, just a pick or two. I didn't catch the last little bit of that. Ooh, nice and shiny. And there we have it. What do you think? Pretty doggone dapper, if I do say so myself. Now, if you don't mind, be 500 bells. No tip necessary. Thanks for your patronage. Bad. There, the green was something that sure stood out. And we just have like black witchy shoes. I like it. Let's go home. <laughs> let's go home. Let's go see how our painting is. Let's see if it's real or not. It's not. It's probably not. It's almost certainly not. But it, it might be. It could be. Who knows? And we can find out either by taking it to Nook, I think, or Blathers for sure. I think Nook will be able to identify it. Yeah, because, like, we could sell it. <laughs> we can't sell it for much if it's a forgery. Say, me wee troutlet, ye be positively beaming. Did something in that city fill ye with hope? Did you just live a little bit of your life stream? Yeah, buying forged paintings from a really shady fox in some sketchy alleyway for a lot of money. That's one of my dreams. Yep. Well then, Sprat, next time remember that it'd be your turn to help someone else chase their dreams. Yar. Now how be that for the wholesome advice? I got some moments. Yar. I love Cap. I'm not going to call you buddy. I'm going to call you Cap. Because that's the best name. The apostrophe and everything. Oh, Cap. Great. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Feels pretty good. Man, I can't wait until a coconut tree grows. I wish I had planted that like a week ago or, or whatever. Rather than just holding on to that coconut forever and constantly forgetting about it. We did free up our inventory space a little bit. Uh, let's go to the blathers. All right, blathers. I may or may not have the first piece of art for this museum of yours. Would you like to appraise an art? Here's an art. What do you think of it? Fingers crossed. Woohoo! Marvelous! The flowery painting. It's rather more of a flowery painting than I'd imagined. I must find a spot with proper lighting to do this beauty justice. Huzzah! <gasps> it was real! Woohoo! Hell yeah! I salute your patronage. I trust we may continue to rely on your generosity. Hell yeah. We did it. It's real. We bought a real painting and it's in the museum now. Look at this. Look at all this. Oh, it's just right here too. That's pretty cool. There's a lot of art. Or there's room for a lot of art. There's not actually a lot of art in here. There's very, very little art in here. That's pretty neat though. We're not even gonna go in there. Look at how empty this is. I'm expecting there to be like crows, or birds attacking us as we try to solve a puzzle frantically. But I guess it's just a standalone museum. It's not like somewhere weird, like inside a mansion or <laughs> a police station. <laughs> that would be silly. Um, okay, we got a few things to put in storage before I forget again. Continue forgetting. So let's do that and let's call it a day. That was pretty good. I'm actually really excited that we bought that painting. I don't know how often red stuff refreshes. I feel like it's weekly, but he mentioned that the thing, the clear anatomical model was for sale for one day only. Oh, we have an invitation card. Yeah, I don't care. We have a cedar sapling and we have a little, little bro's hat. It's my little bro. It's his hat. Uh, we'll put hats here. 
hats and faces, or sinister, snidely whiplash mustache. Uh, is there anything else that I want to do? No, our inventory is pretty good. Our money is non-existent, but we'll be there better in the next few days. I have my own art here. Look at that basic painting. Isn't that cool? I actually don't know if we can donate that to Blathers as well. Should we try? I'm, I don't know, because it came from Nook. Hmm. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to shoot the cannon, though. Uh, yeah, cool. So, good, successful day. Tomorrow, we're going to get back to, like, fishing or something, right? Because we haven't done that in a couple days. So, thanks for watching, everyone. May the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you. Hmm.